One of the first problems I encountered with my Hobie is after you take out the mast with the sail and the furling line wrapped around it, simply pull this and it releases out of there, you see the Delrin ball bearings that the mast actually rotates in. Well, when it gets some wear on it, these ball bearings don't stay in there. They tend to fall out. And they fall down into there, which is very deep and they're hard to retrieve. And they get under the mast when they fall down in there. <clears throat> so the best thing I've found is uh, get yourself some of this foam noodle. It's uh, two and a half inches in diameter and it perfectly fits down inside of here and holds those ball bearings from falling out. In fact, you can even put the mast here during uh, transportation and it'll even hold that down. But this latch does hold it in place. Now, the second thing I found kind of annoying on my Hobie is uh, these old style plugs. They're pretty rinky dink. They don't fill the hole very well. They don't even come up to the top. They rock. Water gushes through here. They're not level. They have improved these. But this style here, it doesn't come with this foam I put on the top here. But now that the, the pins are a separate piece of plastic because this old style, they used to actually break and it would leak here. These would fill up with water. Fact is, I even went and put a screw here so I could drain it out, and then you put the screw back so it seals. <clears throat> the new ones are better, better construction, a little bit bigger. They fill the hole better, but they were still an inch below the surface here. So I put the foam on here. Now that gives me a nice flush deck. Not only that, it generally, as you know, if you've been riding one of these, water already comes up to about here when you're riding. So this is actually underwater when it's in here and installed in the water. And as such, it actually increases the lift, the buoyancy of the boat, displacing water, more water here. It makes the boat faster because it seals the hole, the hole be hole, the Mirage Dry hole underneath the hole. Next thing I've done is I've taken a piece of the foam and inserted it under the handles here. Why, you might ask? It has nothing to do with buoyancy or flotation. It has to do with when the boat leaning and the water level would be running across here like this. It would hit the backside of this handle, the hole there, and it literally spray right into the lap of who's ever sitting here or back there. So I fill those holes. It actually makes it more <laughs> hydrodynamic. I was gonna say aerodynamic, it would be hydrodynamic. And they're not glued in, they simply push out and they stay there fine. Lightweight, simple solution and uh, uh, reversible. Well, this is the Mirage Drive parking hook, which basically hooks around one of the legs of the Mirage Drive and holds it back and keeps the pedals in the split position, which also keeps the fins in a split position and up against the bottom of the hull for parking it. But when you're not parked, it's right here and it's underneath your legs. It's very uncomfortable. So in the rear, I removed it. And as you can see here, they're removed. Well, how do I park my Mirage Drive? I've simply added a second one here that hooks around the Mirage Drive here. It's a little bit more of a reach. You have to lean forward, yes. But uh, the comfort you gain by your legs, it can't be measured. And yeah, I put a couple plugs in here to keep water from gushing up here. Uh, the next uh, alteration I did is to mount uh, compasses on both of the uh, cr crotch uh, <laughs> cubby holes, hatches. I do recommend the uh, wheel uh, accessory you can get from Hobie to add on to the rudder, the tiller. And on the uh, front one, I've actually used the bolt from this uh, knob here. 
and you and glued and epoxied the bolt inside of a piece of uh, fuel line. Then on the other end of the fuel line, I put a uh, piece of a half inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe. You can get it the screw down through here, the original screw that mounts the knob, and this screws down on there. And why did I do all this? <laughs> Because on the end of this, I can put a shaft and another PVC pipe and I can have a hiking stick to sit out on my trampolines and control it from. And this is the hiking stick I use. Nothing more than a half inch of electrical and a half inch coupler there. This is actually a uh, backpacking pin that I drilled out and got a stainless steel clip for. This simply slips over. I put the pin in. Put the pin in. Securing pin. Now I can sit out on the trampoline and control the rudder from out here, i.e. hike out either side. What's the foam for? Well, it's flotation, in case I drop it. This is also a selfie pole. Because on this end, I can mount my camera and use it for a selfie stick. The other problem I've encountered while sailing my Hobie is uh, while you're out there sailing and you got your sail out, your furling line is pretty much wrapped around the sail at this point. And rough seas and bouncing and tacking back and forth this line will tend to drop down there like that now you go to pull on your furling line to roll up your sail and it locks around there like that and it won't pull in your sail if you're back there in the rear trying to pilot the boat and you got your novice up here you literally have to climb up over your passenger to get at this to unlock this to untangle this to get going and it, it, it snags on the nuts down underneath here. It creates quite a dangerous situation. And I'll show you the fix I have. I'm taking a regular Frisbee. And in the center of it, I've cut out a hole. The exact same size as this hole. I've cut off the back of it so it fit against the bar here. And I put some, uh, this is automotive door edge guard. I put automotive door edge guard along that edge I cut off. I kind of beveled it here. And I placed that down on there. And I'll show you why. When the mast is placed in there, it holds it in place. It's thin enough that it takes up that space without the mast rubbing on it. Now, when the sail is furled up along here and it falls down here, it can't drop down in there and grab around the base. It automatically pulls it into the furling housing. Problem solved. Another annoying thing I never liked about this is when you fold up your armas against your hull here on your trailer in the cradles, just like you're supposed to, they'll sit there and jiggle against your hole, scraping up your Hobie emblem. So I recommend while you're traveling to put right underneath your rear aka a towel. So now you got something to protect your hole and it won't sand your Hobie emblem off the hole. Now the rear bungee cord used to have a cleat on the back here. I ran the bungee cord through a loop. That way if it comes off the cleats and falls off the side of the hull, it can't come off the boat and we won't lose it. Yes, you have to take the uh, end off of the bungee to 
string it through there, but that's just the point. <laughs> it won't come off of there like it would one of these. And that'll save you a bungee cord. It might be dragging in the water, but it won't be lost. The stock Hobie handles are a joke. They're nice and contoured for your hands, nice rubber plastic combination, but inside of it has a fatal flaw. They have a metal bar in there and apparently it isn't stainless steel. And it rusts and eventually the line will pull right out of them, they'll fold, break, and they fall off. Here's a cheap solution. It's nothing but half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe and a, a piece of uh, parachute cord. It makes the great grab handle. It doesn't rust, it doesn't rot. It's lighter weight than the original and stronger. I've also added a loop buckle here to extend the uh, distance of the pulley, main sheet pulley from the hull. It increases the uh, clearance with the rear uh, bungee cord loop here and, or a, a stock cleat and helps get the line uh, up off the hull here a little bit too. The stock bungee cords on the side here are problematic on the original Hobies. They tend to rot out and then, then you get you get your amas coming off the yakas. I've uh, made the largest possible bungee cord to go through this hole and be able to knot it underneath and made it shorter. So when I do attach my ama to my aka, it is incredibly tight and strong. I believe the stock one is uh, 5 16ths and this is 7 16ths, if not just 3 8ths.